Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys what is my personal least favorite thing about doing field research. And I can sum it up with one word, baggage. So what I specifically mean is when we do field work, we tend to have a lot of gear, oftentimes weird stuff too, that requires odd packaging and suspect looking packaging in the eyes of you know, a security guard at an airport, a uh, security agent. So um, just to give you a little bit of sense for this, and it, and it goes actually beyond field gear, which I'll get into in a second, but here are just some of our bags. So duffel, big duffel bags full of all kinds of hardware and like wetsuits and fins and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, and uh, other things that are a little more odd, like <laughs> for example, this three meter, so 10 foot long frame. <laughs> and it's about a meter, it's a little, it's about almost uh, three and a half feet wide too. Um, this thing is enormous. This is a, this is a, an enormous video camera stand, mobile video camera stand, which we call the mobile fear frame. In this case, it's 3.0. There were other iterations. Um, this thing is a monster. It's fortunately not that heavy. It's like, 30 pounds, like 14, a little less than 14 kilos, um, but it's huge. And so uh, this combined with my dive camera housing, look at this thing, it's a monster. So there's all kinds of, and then look at all the camera gear. So we have all this camera gear to do our work um, and then everything else that comes with doing field work. So unbelievable amounts of stuff. Uh, and just to show you, like here is the bag we have to use to carry the fear frame in this bag is like almost the size of me. I'm six feet tall and this bag is, is enormous. So there is, uh, and then, you know, here, I'll just give you the full, I'm gonna give you the full thing here. Um, all the electrical stuff, uh, the, ooh, you can't really see, there we go. Electrical stuff and batteries and I brought a drone. So we have that too and, and just camera gear and all that kind of stuff. So um, more hardware, I've explained this in other videos, but this is our mapping stick. So really, crazy amounts of stuff um and we bring the bare minimum one of the reasons you may have noticed that i'm wearing the same stuff in almost every video is because i didn't bring much else other than this which is hilarious um shower in your clothes field biologist it saves uh, tons of room for for clothes you just shower in your clothes dry them out you only need a couple pairs of, of anything um so baggage brutal uh we've had some trials and tribulations with baggage on this trip and we always do it is intense hauling that kind of gear you know we're talking about hundreds of pounds hundreds of, of kilos actually in this case um and it's exhausting and you're doing it in the tropics you're sweating like crazy um we're often you know when we're in in thailand and this was true in french polynesia too you're often surrounded by vacationing westerners and so you're you know you're dealing with people that are only coming to these places for a week, so they got like little backpacks, stuff like that. Um, and we look like psychopaths with these insane amounts of, of bags, like these, these insane, you know, sizes of bags. People are like, what is, what is wrong with you people? Uh, we've, had, we've had like almost that exact thing said to us uh, when we're traveling, and it's, it's funny. I don't blame people for being confused. It's confusing, uh, and it's horrible. But it's not that bad, you know, in the sense of you just got to muscle yourself through it. Uh, Heather hates it, I think, more than I do even. Um, but we make it work. You get from point A to point B. <laughs> you get exercise. So, you know, you try to stay fit in the field. And, man, moving bags even, like, a short distance is unbelievable exercise. Uh, so that is my least favorite thing about doing field work. And I'll just quickly end with one last reason it's horrible, and that is... Uh, when you're going through the airlines, it's, it's often, it add, adds a lot of stress because you don't know if they're going to let you on with that much baggage. Um, sure, they're going to often charge you a lot, but even if you're willing to pay that, sometimes they won't let you on with all the stuff you bring. I've had multiple instances where they wouldn't let me, they were almost not going to let me take my carry-on on because it weighed so much because it was full of, you know, really expensive heavy cameras that I didn't want to get damaged in checked baggage or stolen in checked baggage. So I brought it as a carry-on. So... Anyway, baggage, brutal. Um, but if you can get past the baggage, not too bad. 
Thanks a lot for watching. Um, please support what we're doing. We have a lot of passionate scientists that are on board to share their knowledge and insights and their, their stories of how they got to where they are and how to succeed in this field and why it's so important, why science is so important. Uh, you can help us tremendously for free by sharing these videos, subscribing, and getting the word out. You can also help us not for free by chipping in a dollar or two on our Patreon account. So please support us. We'll continue to produce these videos. We do this for free. We do this because we care. So we're happy that you're watching. Thank you.